Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Y equals a negative x to the third power minus 3x squared minus 1, and we have to find all the points of a relative minimum and maximum. Well, right here I want to find the first derivative, f prime of x. And to do that, we use our power rule. 3 comes down, negative 3x squared here. Then 2 times 3 is a 6, so we have a negative 6 here, x to the first power. And then, well, derivative of negative 1 is 0. Don't need that. To do our first derivative test, we need to take our derivative and set it equal to 0. So I do that, negative 3x squared minus 6x equals 0, and we're solving for x. Pull down an x here, have a negative 3x minus 6 here equals 0. Both parts equal to 0, x equal to 0, negative 3x minus 6 equals 0. Add a 6 both sides, divide by a negative 3, and x comes out to be a negative 2. So we have our two critical points, we're going to use our chart here. So I take my chart, as so, and my values are negative 2 and 0. And we're going to apply our first derivative test. We're going to pick a value that's less than negative 2 and plug it into our derivative. And I've done that for you and I picked negative 3. I have prime of negative 3, when we plug it into our derivative, it comes out to be a negative 9. It's negative, that's what I care about, meaning my original function is decreasing. Now between negative 2 and 0, I pick negative 1, so f prime of negative 1, I plug that into my derivative right there, and I get a positive 3. It's positive, that's what I care about, and we're increasing on that interval. From 0 to positive infinity, I picked a value of just 1 on that interval there, so f prime of 1, and that comes out to be a negative 9. Again, plug it into our derivative. It's negative that's what I care about, and so we're decreasing again. So when we have a point where we're decreasing, then increasing, that means our function has a relative minimum right there. If the function is increasing, then decreasing, we have a relative maximum right there. So we have relative min, relative maximum identified. We need to find the coordinate points for them. So we have our relative minimum, uh, negative 2 is where it happens, the x value. To get the y value, we plug it into our original function right here, and uh, I got a negative 5 right there for you. If I want to find my relative maximum, okay, 0 was the x value, we plug that into our original function, and I got a negative 1 as the y value. So our final answer here is we have a relative minimum at negative 2 comma negative 5, and a relative maximum at 0 comma negative 1. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.